We'll begin the glorious mysteries of the Holy Rosary for all your special intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, forgiveness of sin, resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For charity and forgiveness. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sin, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sin. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sin. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery. The descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sin, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as the Queen of Heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sin. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee we send up our sighs, mourning, weeping, this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant we beseech you that while meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ, our Lord, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking to ruin us souls. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the solemnities of St. Peter and Paul. Of course, Peter, the rock on which the church is built, the apostle to the Jews, and, and Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles. And as we gather to celebrate their beautiful, beautiful mission, let's open our hearts to trust in God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the foundation, the rock of the church. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you built your church on the blood of the martyrs. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us this feast day of Peter and Paul to inspire us. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who on the solemnity of the apostles Peter and Paul Give us the noble and holy joy of this day. Grant, we pray, that your church may in all things follow the teachings of those through whom she received the beginnings of right religion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, King Herod laid hands upon some members of the church to harm them. He had James, the brother of John, killed by the sword. And when he saw that this was pleasing to the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. It was the Feast of Unleavened Bread. He had him taken into custody and put him in prison under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. He intended to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter thus was being kept in prison, but prayer by the church was fervently being made to God on his behalf. On the very night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter, secured by double chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while outside the door, guards kept watch on the prison. Suddenly the angel of the Lord stood by him and the light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and awakened him saying, get up quickly. The chains fell from his wrists. The angel said to him, put on your belt and your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, put on your cloak and follow me. So he followed him out not realizing that what was happening through the angel was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first guard and the second and came to the iron gate leading out of the city, which opened for them by itself. They emerged and made their way down an alley, and suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter recovered his senses and said, now I know for certain that the Lord sent his angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod and from all that the Jewish people had been expecting. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response this morning is, the angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. The angel, the angel of the Lord, of the Lord will, rescue will rescue those who, who fear him. him. 
I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. <clears throat> A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. I, Paul, am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The Lord stood by me and gave me strength so that through me the proclamation might be completed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You are Peter, upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus said to him, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's feast day of St. Peter's and, and is St. Peter and Paul. Uh, this goes back to the middle of the, the third century. Uh, one of the ancient writings uh, talks about this feast day in 
the year 258. So the Catholic calendar has been going around a long time on this date. And, and I was thinking about this morning um, when I was doing my prayers, and what struck me was um, tombs. Tombs. And what struck me, I'm going to talk about tombs. And if you ask people, what's the most beautiful tomb on earth? And people often will say the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal, it was a husband and wife and the uh, sultan who had that thing built. He was a Muslim who, it's, it's kind of horrendous too. He had all the architects murdered uh, after that, uh, after he'd had the hall built, uh, the, the, uh, the mausoleum, the, the more or less the giant mausoleum built for him and his wife so that no, they couldn't ever match it because it was the most beautiful tomb in the world. And um, I disagree with that. I think the most amazing, amazing place on earth the most beautiful tomb on earth it's not Grant's tomb it's St. Peter's Basilica St. Peter's Basilica is built there over the, the tomb of St. Peter himself and it's interesting if you go through the readings in the scriptures both St. Paul and St. Peter are rescued on different occasions from death and so like we see in the Acts of the Apostles Herod Agrippa has Peter in chains, and he's going to be put to death a good chance in the, there in Jerusalem. And, you know, is he going to give testimony to convert this, this uh, Herod, this king? Herod's a piddly king. A piddly king. See, God rescued Peter so that we would become Roman Catholics. Not Jerusalem Catholics. Because he had a plan, an idea, of course, in the great providence of God, so that Peter and Paul would go to the heart of the empire, to the heart of the, of the darkness, to the core of, uh, of civilization to convert it, Rome itself. And so there Peter goes, and in the year 64, Peter is put to death there in the Circus Vaticanus, right there. He was crucified upside down, not on some hillside like Jesus, but literally in a stadium that had probably close to 100,000 people in it cheering it on, watching other Christians being put to death. This was the scene of Peter's death. Crucified upside down in a large stadium that was there, and where you could see the only thing left of that stadium is that obelisk, you know that big obelisk that's in the middle of St. Peter's Square? That used to be in the center of this horse track, this velodrome, where they used to do the gladiator things. That's where Peter was crucified. And then his body was dumped in the tomb on the hill right by there. And later on, uh, the Christians, uh, actually his body was rescued by the Christians who buried him in that. The Christian had a plot there and buried him there. And later when Constantine becomes Christian, he actually has the, uh, a giant basilica built on that site. And then again, rebuilt in the 1500s, a beautiful St. Peter's there on that site. And then you have St. Paul. So this, when did Peter die? The year 64. 64, trying to convert the emperor. Trying to convert the emperor himself. And Paul does it again. And he gets put to death in the year 67, trying to convert the emperor. If I could get the emperor convert, we could get the rest of the world Christian. And Paul himself, being a, a, a Roman, had the privilege of not being crucified. So what did they do with him? They didn't put him in a, to make mockery of sport of him because he had the dignity of a Roman citizen, Paul was. A Jew and a Roman citizen. So they dragged Paul outside the walls of Rome, and there on the south you know, southwest part of town where the old wall was outside. Paul's outside the walls, it's called, is the place where he was beheaded. And there's that beautiful church there. You know, God wants the world converted. He said the gates of hell will not prevail over my church. He didn't say the gates of hell will not prevail over my, he didn't say that the church is, the devil's not gonna prevail over the church. You see, it's a different thing. I always remind myself this when I read this reading from, uh, it says, Peter, you're a rock. And upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And right now, it feels like the gates of hell are, doesn't it, when you watch the news, 
You see people celebrating the death of children in the womb. You see children that are so confused are being told that you, a boy is not a boy and a girl is not a girl, that there's just a spectrum. We see the anger, the angst of arsons, of pro-life clinics. You see the signs being ripped away that says, value them both. How offensive. And it feels like the gates of hell are coming against the church. Well, guess what, people? Jesus didn't say, hide in the church. Lock the doors. You're going to be okay in there. Devil's pounding on us. What did Jesus say to Peter? He says, not the gates of the church won't be busted down. He said, the gates of hell will be busted down. It's not a defensive mode we're supposed to be in. We should be on the offense. We should be bold. Don't live in fear. Don't be afraid to put a value them both sign in your yard because you think you might be targeted. Don't be afraid to share your Catholic faith with others. Peter and Paul were bold enough to go right up to the emperor, Nero himself, and say, you better change your way. And if you do change your way, what a wonderful way. What a wonderful way to live with Jesus, the true king who can forgive you and give you mercy and peace. And you have been given an identity. You don't give yourself your own identity. You don't even give yourself your own pronouns. Jesus has given you an identity, said, you are my child. And the Father in heaven says, you are, the, you are a son of God, you are a daughter of God, and you are my beloved child, and you're hurting, and I love you. That's the message of the church. That's the message of Peter and Paul. That this world is desperate for love. I've been on many pro-life marches down in D.C. And I've seen, the, recently it was at the Advice and Aid in that march. And I see the peaceful love of families gathered together, praying together in peace and harmony and joy with all their problems, but they have something to stand on. Jesus, the rock. Then I see the other side, angry, vile, vulgar, profane. It's so obvious what side to be on. It's so obvious where love is. And we must never take on the characteristics, the hatred, the anger, the other side, because they're really not sides. See, Jesus wants them to know his love. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. There are two types of people in this world. Not the pro-life and not the pro-death people. Not pro-life, pro-choice. Not Catholic or pagan. There are only two types of people in this world. My brothers and my sisters. They just don't know it yet. So let's convert the world. Don't be defensive. Be on the offense. Get out there. Don't live in fear. For the gates of hell will be busted down by the church. And all those captive by hatred and anger and violence will be set free by love. Amen. Let's stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, 
begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us bring our prayers before the good Lord. Let us pray for our Holy Father, for Pope Francis, to lead our church in unity and courage, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the conversion of all those who have turned towards the culture of death. Let us pray for a conversion of our president, for members of Congress or civil authorities, that they will turn towards a culture of life, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all of our young people to know their true identity as sons and daughters of, of God our Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for children who are confused by our culture and our society, that we will walk their uh, journey with them towards love of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for teachers everywhere, that the Holy Spirit will come upon them so they will teach the truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for all of our homeless, that they will find good shelter. We pray to the Lord. Lord I'd like to pray for all those who have cancer and for their treatment. We pray to the Lord. Lord and let us pray for all those who have died. I'd like to pray for Jerry Prachek, whose funeral is today, for his wife, Teresa, who misses him, and for all of our faithful departed loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord and let us pray for the safety of all of our pro-life clinics. Let us pray for all those for the state of Kansas to truly be open their hearts to valuing the women and children in the womb and be able to walk the journey of life with them, we pray to the Lord. Lord and let us pray this mass intentions for Consuelo, Ariano, we pray to the Lord. Lord. And let's take a moment of silence and offer our needs and intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord Almighty and ever living God, on this feast day of Peter and Paul, we remember the great apostles and their witness by shedding their blood to spread the gospel. Help us to be inspired by their lives and answer all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the prayer of the apostles, O Lord, accompany the sacrificial gifts that we present to your name for consecration. And may their intercession make us devoted to you 
in celebration of the sacrifice through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God. For by your providence, the blessed Apostle Peter and Paul bring joy. Peter, foremost in confessing the faith. Paul, its outstanding preacher. Peter, who established the early church from the remnant of Israel. Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so each in a different way, gathered together the one family of Christ and revered together throughout the world, they share one martyr's crown. And therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Walk in them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray. For the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, and may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, where the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us share with each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ may be an everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray.
Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the church, that persevering in the breaking of the bread and in the teaching of the apostles, we may be one heart and one soul made steadfast in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray St. Michael the Archangel prayer for healing in the church for the safety of God's children. And one hail Mary for peace. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of the Holy Rosary, St. Joseph, and St. Michael the Archangel. The Mass ascended, go in peace. Thanks be to God.